Uh, there are lots of things which I've spent a lot of time uh, giving congressional testimony about, Go, going uh, in the US, going to commons committees on in the, uh, uh, in the UK. There are things where, uh, which we need to just preserve. If we're going to do all the stuff at the web layer, we need the net to support it. It all runs over the net. The wonderful thing about IP, the famous hourglass, is that we do everything on top. There's this little waste of the IP protocol. And underneath, but while we did the web, while the last 20 years while the web developed, the speed has gone, of everything underneath has gone from 300 bits per second to 300 megabits per second, or for the lucky ones, 300 giga, gigabits per second. And that is a huge, unbelievable change. No other technology has gone up by a, a factor of a million. You know, steam chains started off at maybe, what, three miles an hour? And maybe they went at maybe sort of 80 miles an hour, really fast ones. That is not a very big change, you know, uh, over the time. Uh, cars, you know, planes, you know, most things don't think of something which has changed, gone faster by a factor of a million during its, during a, uh, its lifetime. So the internet is, you know, it's amazing that this internet has grown separately from the web. But every now and again, we have to, we can't, we have to realize that we have to also uh, be aware of threats. So, for example, net neutrality is really important. All these social systems which we build depend on the fact that you can link to anybody else. You can go and see anybody's blog. They assume that the internet system is not going to surreptitiously make sure that you can only read one set of, uh, a particular sets of blogs. That it's not going to just slow down packets to one party before the election. And there's some really interesting tricks people have been doing on the web. The, read the, the best paper from the last web science conference to see what happened to Martha Coakley and how, the, and how that was done on the web, if you want to be, uh, be amazed uh, and frightened. Where, so for as a support for democracy, we need a neutral web. And also as a support for a decent market and for support for education, we need a neutral web. I, I think now that we... It's 20 years on, the web has got to the point that is so critical. Uh, we've seen when the, some of the talks, when these amazing talks we've had the last couple of days, uh, we've seen just by looking at how much stuff you can find by looking at, the, looking at the Facebook data, looking at the Twitter data, you realize to what extent really social life, education, science, democracy is actually happening on this, in this medium now. Okay, so this is, not, you know, this is no longer, uh, you know, 15 years ago, it was something to play with. Now it's something which we really have to watch it. We have to make sure that it is a very solid foundation for all the fundamental things we want to do socially and governmentally. Um, so uh, suddenly we end up with this duty, uh, duty of care. Anybody who realizes how important it is, uh, maybe very few of you, a lot of people just log on. Go to the one network social networking site and, and never realize they're using the web and never using, realize they're using a search engine to find the social networking site. They just do it automatically. So the few people who understand, understand this, I think, now have uh, an extra strong uh, duty to make sure that uh, things like this are, uh, are thought of and the strength of the web as an underlying infrastructure for society is maintained. Thanks. <laughs>